Hey everyone, it's Heather Letsy, and I'm here with your findability tip for today. So when you're Googling yourself, you want to think about, it's pretty important that I understand what people see when they Google my business name or my name, but it's also as equally important to what they see in Google Images. So Google Images is the number two way people search on Google. We love pretty pictures, so it's very important that we understand what people see when they Google our name in images. Now, you're gonna see all kinds of images, so let me show you what you'll see and how can you adjust what shows up there. So I'm gonna to go to google.com right now and I'm gonna to go to Heather Lutze. Now, first you're gonna see my search results right here. Now, I, don't, I, I covered this in my prior video, so you might wanna check that out, but we're gonna look at Google Images, which is right here. Now, when you come to Google Images, you'll see these references are the most commonly used references when someone searches for my name. So you'll see here that I've got my headshots, I've got something from a press release, I have something from my Twitter account. So what's important is why are these the images that show up here? Like, why these? Well, a couple things is that they are named my name. So Heather Letsy one jpeg or they have alt text, which is called the alternative text, that says Heather Lutze in it as well. There's lots of different reasons why images show up here. Now the hard thing is, is to change them out or to change Google's mind about what shows up here. So here's my recommendation. Click on the very first image that comes up under your name. Now, number two is take a look at where this image resides. And I want you to click on it again. Now, when it pulls up again, I want you to take a look at how we're able to locate where this image lives. So here's the image right here. If I don't like that image or it's out of date, then I'm gonna replace it on this page and then I'm gonna wait for Google to come back to my website and re-index it. Now I'm gonna make sure to name that image the same image name and the same alt text as the existing image. And in time, depending on how often Google comes back to your site, they're gonna, that image will switch out. But also be mindful that there might be other websites that also have your name on it, right? So let's take a look at this one. This is a very old picture. <laughs> one of my Jennifer Aniston period, I think. Anyway, if you click on this image, then you're gonna go to where that image resides. So this is on the prpr.net website. So I'm gonna email my buddy Russ at PRPR, and I'm gonna say, hey, this is a really outdated image. Can you please replace this with my current one? So what you're doing is you're really hunting and foraging for where does this image live? Can I replace it with something else? So go through all of your, now this is on my Twitter. If I don't want that to show up, I'm gonna change up my Twitter profile pic. This one is on my findability. Again, if I don't want this in there, I'm gonna to have to change it. This comes from my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna change it on my YouTube profile. So you'll see here, as you go through here, you'll see all different kinds of images from screen grabs of videos, to images of my of my um, my app and everything else in here that I maybe have never realized comes up under my name. So go ahead and Google yourself in Google Images. Hunt and forage for where those images live. Rename them with the image names that they currently have. And slowly but surely, you'll start switching out each one of that top line to your ideal images in Google Image Search. Thanks so much for joining us, and I'll see you on our next video.